five places that will no longer be habitable in 100 years due to climate change. Many places in the world are especially vulnerable to climate change, either because they are located in coastal areas and are prone to flooding, or because they are highly dependent on variations in global temperatures, such as regions near the poles. In this sense, cities within these zones risk being destroyed by natural disasters or becoming utterly uninhabited due to the changes that will occur in the next 100 years. But which cities are the most vulnerable to these changes? What cities in the world could become completely uninhabited in the next 100 years due to climate change? Keep watching to find out. Five, Venice, Italy. With approximately 260,000 inhabitants, Venice is one of the world's most iconic and visited cities. Its canals, historic bridges, and unique architecture make it a world-renowned tourist destination. However, due to rising sea levels and land subsidence, this city is in danger of disappearing underwater. Scientific studies have shown that Venice could become uninhabitable within the next 100 years if climate change trends continue. Rising sea levels are one of the main factors threatening Venice. According to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC, sea level could rise between 0.5 and 1 meter by the end of the 21st century, depending on global greenhouse gas emissions. This rise will exasperate high tides, known locally as Aqua Alta, which already caused frequent flooding in the city. In November of 2019, Venice experienced one of its worst flooding in more than 50 years, with the water level reaching 187 centimeters above sea level. In addition to rising sea levels, Venice faces the problem of land subsidence. The city sits on a shallow lagoon built on wooden stilts, making it particularly vulnerable. A report from the European Space Agency ESA, and Italy's Consiglio Nazionale del Ricerca CNR, Published in 2019 indicates that Venice is sinking at a rate of 1 to 2 millimeters per year and aggravating the situation in the city. The MOSE project has been implemented to protect Venice from flooding. This system of mobile barriers is designed to close the Venice Lagoon during high tides and prevent seawater from flooding the city. However, the long-term effectiveness of this project is uncertain. Although the MOSE has been helpful several times, Critics argue that it is not a definitive solution and that the city needs a more comprehensive approach to addressing climate change and its effects. Dr. Fabrizio Antonoli, a prominent Italian geologist, has been a prominent voice in the discussion about Venice's future. Dr. Antonoli states, The combination of land subsidence and rising sea levels puts Venice in a critical situation. He and other scientists have urged more significant investment in research and sustainable solutions that can protect the city long term. These solutions include restoring the lagoon's natural ecosystems and reducing global greenhouse gas emissions. During Aqua Alta events, transportation becomes almost impossible as streets become rivers and squares become lakes. Residents have to use elevated walkways to get around, which can be particularly difficult for older people or people with reduced mobilities. Schools and businesses often have to close during these events, disrupting education and commerce. As flooding becomes more common and severe, some residents may be forced to leave their homes permanently. If this continues for many years, eventually the city will empty until access becomes so complex that the last inhabitants will leave, leaving the city completely uninhabited. 4. Miami, United States With a population of approximately 470,000, Miami is a vibrant city known for its beaches, culture, and nightlife. However, it is on the front line of cities vulnerable to climate change. Rising sea levels, more intense storms, and at-risk infrastructure are just some challenges Miami faces. Scientific studies have shown that Miami could become uninhabitable without significant mitigation and adaptation measures in the next 100 years. The rise of sea level is one of the most critical problems for Miami. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, 
Sea levels in the Miami area have risen approximately 9 inches since 1950. This rise is mainly due to melting ice sheets in Greenland and Antarctica, as well as to the thermal expansion of seawater as it warms. Dr. Shimon Wadowski, a geophysicist at the University of Miami, has conducted studies showing how even a slight rise in sea level can result in significant flooding due to the region's flat topography. High tides and storms have become more frequent and severe in Miami. The so-called King Tides are a phenomenon that causes regular flooding in the city, even in the absence of storms. These floods can paralyze the city, affecting traffic, commerce, and residents' daily lives. A study published in the journal Science Advances in 2016, co-authored by Dr. Wadowski, showed that sea level rise has significantly increased the frequency of these high tides in the last decade. Additionally, Miami is in the path of Atlantic hurricanes, and scientists warn that climate change is making these storms more robust and destructive. Hurricane Irma in 2017 was an example of this, causing massive flooding and damage to infrastructure. The repair and recovery costs after such events are astronomical, and as these storms become more frequent, city resources could become insufficient. Miami's infrastructure is particularly at risk due to its construction on a porous limestone plain. This geology means that seawater can easily infiltrate through the soil, undermining buildings, roads, and other critical elements of urban infrastructure. This could make parts of Miami uninhabitable, forcing residents to move and causing a mass exodus. According to a report from Harvard University, by 2100, millions of residents of coastal areas of the United States including many in Miami, could be forced to move inland due to rising sea levels. To address these challenges, Miami has begun implementing several adaptation measures. These include raising roads, installing improved bumps and drainage systems, and creating coastal barriers to protect against flooding. However, experts warn that these measures may not be enough in the long term if the root of the problem, climate change, is not addressed. 3. Dhaka, Bangladesh Dhaka, the capital of Bangladesh, is a rapidly growing metropolis with over 21 million people. This densely populated city is located in one of the most vulnerable regions in the world to climate change. Dhaka's location in the Ganges, Brahmaputra, and Meghana rivers delta makes it particularly susceptible to floods, cyclones, and sea level rise. Without significant interventions, Dhaka could become one city uninhabited in the next 100 years due to the combined effects of climate change. Bangladesh already experiences regular flooding due to monsoon rains and rising rivers. However, climate change is intensifying these conditions. According to the IPCC, increased rainfall and increased frequencies of cyclones are expected to intensify flooding in Bangladesh. A study published in Nature Climate Change in 2013, co-authored by Dr. Sali Mule Hook, a renowned climate scientist and director of the International Center for Climate Change and Development ICCCAD, predicts that rising global temperatures will lead to more rainfall and more intense and stronger cyclones in the Ganges Brahmaputra Delta. Rising sea levels are another significant threat to Dhaka. The IPCC warns that the sea level could rise by up to 1 meter by the end of the 21st century. This rise would have devastating consequences for Bangladesh a country with a third of its territory less than one meter above sea level. Dr. Atik Rahman, executive director of the Bangladesh Center for Advanced Studies BCAS, has stressed that even a small rise in sea level can have a disproportionate impact on Bangladesh due to its low, flat topography. Dhaka's infrastructure is especially vulnerable to flooding. The city lacks a proper drainage system and faces rapid urbanization without planning. During floods, streets turn into rivers, sanitation systems overflow, and homes in slums, where many of the population lives, are severely affected. A study by the Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology BUET, in 2019 highlighted that Dhaka's critical infrastructure, including the transportation network and drinking water supplies, is at risk due to a lack of preparedness for extreme weather events. All this could force millions of people to leave Dhaka. The World Bank estimates that by 2050, more than 13 million Bangladeshis could become migrants due to climate change. To mitigate these risks, Bangladesh has implemented several adaptation initiatives. The
These include building flood barriers, improving drainage systems, and relocating vulnerable communities. However, the magnitude of the challenge requires significant international cooperation and more ambitious climate action. Dr. Salamil Hook has emphasized the need for an integrated approach that combines local adaptation with global climate change mitigation. If radical changes are not made in the next few decades, Dhaka could go from being a city with 21 million inhabitants to a vast swamp. 2. Jakarta, Indonesia Jakarta, the capital of Indonesia, is home to approximately 10 million people in its metropolitan area, with a total population estimated at more than 30 million. This city, located on the island of Java, is one of the largest megacities in the world and is facing an existential crisis due to climate change and the unsustainable exploitation of its natural resources. The combination of land subsidence and sea level rise threatens to turn Jakarta into an uninhabited city within the next 100 years, profoundly affecting its inhabitants and infrastructure. One of the main reasons Jakarta is in danger is land subsidence. The city sits on a river delta and has experienced excessive groundwater extraction for decades. This practice has led to the ground sinking at an alarming rate. According to a study by NASA and the University of California, Irvine, published in Science Advances in 2018, some areas of Jakarta are sinking at a rate of up to 25 centimeters per year. This phenomenon is particularly critical in North Jakarta, where groundwater extraction is more intensive. Dr. Andy Kurniawan, a geologist at the University of Indonesia, has warned that the combination of water extraction and soil compaction is accelerating the sinking of Jakarta. The situation is intensified by heavy infrastructure construction and uncontrolled urbanization, which add additional weight to already vulnerable land. Without significant intervention, subsidence is expected to continue, increasing the city's vulnerability to flooding and natural disasters. The rising sea level is another critical factor contributing to Jakarta's existential threat. According to the IPCC, the sea level could rise by up to 1 meter by the year 2100, severely affecting coastal cities worldwide, including Jakarta. The Indonesian Meteorology, Climatology and Geophysics Agency BMKG, has estimated that sea level off the coast of Java has risen by approximately 15 centimeters in the past 30 years. This rising sea level combined with land subsidence means Jakarta could be submerged entirely underwater by the end of this century. Additionally, subsidence and rising sea levels are causing freshwater sources to salinize, which has severe implications for the health and well-being of the population, which is highly dependent on groundwater. Dr. Rinaldi Siragar, a water resources management expert at the University of Indonesia, said groundwater salinization is seriously affecting the quality of drinking water, which could lead to a health crisis in Jakarta. The displacement of millions of people also marks Jakarta's future. The UN estimates that by 2050, up to 2.4 million people in Jakarta could be displaced due to flooding and land subsidence. Dr. Budi Santoso, a specialist in urban studies at Gajah Mada University, has highlighted that mass migration to other areas of Indonesia or even to other countries could become an inevitable solution if adequate measures are not taken. Could Jakarta be uninhabitable in 100 years? Let us know your opinion in the comments. 1. Alexandria, Egypt Alexandria, Egypt's second largest city with a population of approximately 5.2 million, is a coastal city with a rich history dating back to Alexander the Great. However, sea level rise, coastal erosion, and salinization of agricultural lands and aquifers are critical challenges that could make the city uninhabitable in the next 100 years. The rise of sea level is one of the main threats to Alexandria. According to the IPCC, sea level in the Mediterranean region could rise by up to 1 meter by the end of the 21st century. This rise in sea level would have devastating consequences for the low-lying coastal areas of Alexandria which already experienced frequent flooding. A study from Alexandria University led by Dr. Ihab Migahed shows that a sea level rise of 50 centimeters could flood up to 30% of the Alexandria urban area, directly affecting more than 1.5 million people. Coastal erosion is another severe problem facing Alexandria. 
The city's beaches are declining due to rising sea levels and human activity, such as the construction of coastal infrastructure. A study published in Journal of Coastal Research in 2016, co-authored by Dr. Eman Abdel Fattah of Cairo University, found that the erosion rate in some parts of the Alexandria coast is approximately 20 meters per year. Rising sea levels also cause salinization of Alexandria's agricultural land and aquifers. Saltwater intrusion into the Nile Delta is severely affecting soil fertility and the availability of drinking water. According to a study by the National Water Research Center in Egypt led by Dr. Mohamed Riyad, salinization has already affected more than 15% of agricultural land in the Nile Delta. This reduces agricultural production and increases the cost of treating drinking water, affecting the local population. Flooding and coastal erosion are causing significant damage to Alexandria's infrastructure. Roads, bridges, sewer systems, and other critical infrastructure risk collapsing due to constant exposure to salt water and extreme weather conditions. A report from Alexandria University highlights that the cost of repairing and maintaining this infrastructure is increasing exponentially. Additionally, homes in the most vulnerable areas are being destroyed or damaged, leaving thousands of people homeless. If this continues, more and more people will be forced to migrate. The World Bank estimates that by 2050, around 4 million people in the Nile Delta could be displaced due to climate change. This mass migration would create a humanitarian crisis as people would seek refuge in other areas of Egypt or abroad. Dr. Hala El Said, a climate migration expert at the American University in Cairo, has warned that without proper planning and adaptation, mass displacement in Alexandria could lead to significant social and economic tensions. The Egyptian government and local authorities in Alexandria are implementing several adaptation strategies to mitigate these risks. However, if changes continue simultaneously, the only viable solution will be to relocate millions of people. These examples illustrate the severe threat that climate change poses to some of the world's most iconic cities. The need for immediate and effective actions to mitigate climate change and adapt to its effects is more urgent than ever. Now, we would like to know your opinion. What other city do you think is at risk of disappearing if climate change continues at the current rate? Let us know in the comments.